on this episode of The Blueprint. Making our first hunt on our new lease here in Oklahoma. So um, <clears throat> we just got in and we're here for a couple of days. It is a beautiful afternoon. And um, we have just a little bit of history in that we were able to hunt on this property for a few days at the end of the turkey season last year. And uh, we know kind of what the birds were doing then. And um, we got a couple of days to kind of try to figure it out. There's turkey tracks right here in the first place we pulled over to park, so that's a good sign. We have no idea really anything. This is our first um, kind of a scout mission, but we're here to kill a bird if we can. So we're gonna go up towards um, the front area of the lease where we know we had birds last year. And uh, we're gonna kind of hang out there until dark and see if we can't hear a turkey gobble. Maybe get on a bird, but if not, um, kind of have an idea of where they're roosted for tomorrow morning. So we'll spend a couple days scouting and learning the property, but also turkey hunting. Today is opening day of Oklahoma spring turkey season. So uh, we've got some pretty good weather, a little bit windy, but it's kind of always windy up here. So it's really not that unusual. So um, I got high hopes that we'll find some birds tonight. And like I said, maybe we get one in gun range. If not, we'll be in much better shape for in the morning. So we'll jump on the bikes right up the road. Go see if we can get up there and find a bird. Let's go. Turkey gobble. Maybe more than one. Maybe.
back through that fence gap. They're coming through that fence gap, through that field. Yeah. Well, they gotta come roost somewhere. Yeah. And I don't think they're going that way. Once we heard they were this way, we probably should have adjusted quick. That's like out in the middle. That's not on this edge over here. That's like by that fence row. Behind that, behind that bar. All right, so those two gobblers came running in, but they came from behind us. We weren't set up right, and before they made it into the decoys, uh, we're pretty sure that they saw us. So they they didn't like bust out, but they kind of just eased off. They were still gobbling. and they cut across this big field so Locke is going over here to see if he can watch them fly up and I'm over here kind of where we were earlier just listening to see listening to see if we can roost any and help us with our game plan for the morning so we'll see how it goes And well we had a pretty successful kind of first afternoon on our hunt here and we came really close we uh called up two birds and they were in gun range but they kind of hung up and we just weren't set up right they they came from behind us but we we didn't spook them we stayed on them and got them roosted so we got a pretty good plan for those two we heard a couple of other turkeys gobble at different times uh, this afternoon and it's supposed to be like 38, 40 degrees and calm at daylight in the morning. It is going to be an absolute turkey hunter's dream tomorrow morning. So we're going to get in there really tight, really early on those birds we have roosted. Hopefully hear some other turkeys and kind of get an idea of what else is up on the property. And then during the day, we're going to do some riding around and kind of further getting to know this new piece and scouting it out for some more turkey hunts here this season. But uh, I'm, I'm very... I'm very hopeful for tomorrow morning. I think, you know, it's never a sure thing, but when you know where they're at and you kind of know what they did, you, you hunted them and stayed with them for several hours the evening before, you got a lot of information to go off of. Now, they may fly the other way. They may not do it at all, but um, I feel very confident that we're going to have a good setup to start out with, and we're going to hear a lot of goblin. Um, and uh, so we'll see. We'll get after them in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. We're making our...
It might be coming across, back across. We don't. We came in early, early before daylight because we had these turkeys roosted. We got within probably 75 yards of them, got set up, decoys put out, and they pitched the other way on the other side of the straw woods and gobbled for probably 30 or 45 minutes. And then they made their way back and they came by us but not in gun range to the big field behind us. <clears throat> and all that time there was a turkey gobbling down to the north of us, to the south of us, straight far east and straight behind us to the west. And I'm kind of pausing because there's a turkey gobbling. Um, Problem is where we're at is wide open. There's an open. I think they're coming That's back across. Close. We might need to set up here. We need to set up here. We decided to uh, come set up in this pasture. Um, this is a the turkeys. They used this pasture a lot, and we had two birds gobbling in this pasture yesterday afternoon, and we actually called them out of the pasture. And we called them up to us, but they got kind of spooky and turned around and left before we could get a shot. And this morning, we were on birds on the back, on the, across from where we are now, on the roost, and when they flew down, they came to this pasture and another turkey roosted in the woods behind us where we are now. He came to the pasture and then <clears throat> another turkey from the north came to the pasture and they all kind of congregated here and there was a bunch of gobbling going on. Uh, it's just a feel extremely confident that it's like four o'clock and I'm extremely confident that a, a gobbler's going to come through this pasture this afternoon. And um, so we got in here early, put the decoys out where they're very visible. Sometimes that's not the best tactic, but in this case, I put the hen in a breeding position with a Jake decoy over her. We got back where we're good and hidden, and we're just gonna yelp every now and then. And hopefully any birds that are on their feet, moving around, checking this pasture, strutting, doing their thing, Maybe we can get them to the decoys. That's the idea, because it's so open, it's hard for us to really move around without busting something. And actually, when we were coming in, we actually did. We rode right up on a, a gobbler. He was kind of laying down in the shade next to a tree, about 200 yards back from the pasture. And he didn't really act spooked. He just kind of got up and walked off. So we just let him walk off and we eased on in here. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I, I feel pretty confident. Colin's up first shooting, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of hang tight. It's really really windy, but I expect it'll die down this afternoon, and uh, hopefully we'll be in for some action. So hang tight. see one. Don't move very much at all. Just let him come in, then you can get on him.
to stay on his head. And he was like, what the hell? I was like, no, we're not taking any chances. Just kill him. I told you that gun was bad. Dead as a hammer. Oh, 20 days. <laughs> In a 40 mile an hour wind. <laughs> Legitimately. Yeah. What? I guess that wasn't too bad. They may have separated. I don't know. That worked out to a T. In 15 minutes. Good. Yeah, I'd have got that. Yeah, what kind of beard did he have? Just it's a pretty good beard, though. Yeah. Is this your first turkey? Um, yes and no. <laughs> it's your first legitimate turkey? This is my first legit turkey. So, <laughs> whenever I was little, we went to Texas and I killed one in the fall turkey season so oh. this is my first one legit and I think the, nice. the curse is, is long gone we're two for today is Saturday we just had to get out of Mississippi yeah. is today Saturday <laughs> no no what is today's no. Monday or Tuesday no yeah. today's Monday yeah so Friday Saturday so two and four days we still got more time. Mm -hmm. That plan works so well that we're just gonna sit here and hopefully get another gobbler to come into this decoy set. And we're just in a good visible spot. And um, there was four or five birds all around this pasture this morning. We passed one coming in. Should be in the woods behind us somewhere. That's where he walked into. So, uh, Colin is now tagged out, and I'm gonna see if I can't yelp one, another one. I don't think, with the way the wind's blowing, and it's open like this, I mean, that, that gunshot was much of nothing. I really don't think it bothered, hurt anything. So, this is our first trip to the new lease, and we hunted it at the end of the season last year as a guest, and there were a bunch of jakes, a couple long beards, but a bunch of jakes. We haven't seen any jakes, and oddly, we haven't really seen any hens. We we saw one hen fall off the roost this morning, but we haven't seen any hens yesterday evening or today just walking these pastures or anything. So I hadn't, I'm not sure I, I know where they're at in their kind of their spring cycle. I, I don't know. I don't know if the hens are nesting, but um, either way, it doesn't really matter. We're going uh, to sit here the rest of the afternoon and, unless we hear a turkey gobbling off some direction, we decide to chase him. Who knows? But it's going to be hard to hear one very far because this wind's kicking pretty good for now. So we'll, uh, we'll hang tight and see what happens. Hopefully we'll 
have another bird strutting with these decoys here in a little bit. Alright guys, so we are wrapping up our first trip here at the, the new lease here in Oklahoma and as you can see, it was a successful one. For me, uh, I was able to grab this turkey here and we got really close on some more. They had some more come in today. It's the same two that we've kind of been messing around with the whole, the whole trip um, and they just didn't commit. They cut across this field behind me. so going to be really really windy tomorrow conditions won't be that great so we're going to pack up tonight the sun's kind of going down here and we're going to get out of here but overall i mean just a good trip we we learned a lot about how the turkeys use this place and we kind of scouted out for did like a quick scout for you know the whole property for this upcoming season so good trip and that's going to wrap it up and we will see you guys on the next episode.